all-wheel drive project. Tell them what's going to go on with it. If you want, it's got Synchro Tech goodies. Anyway, it's got goodies coming. They're yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? All right, cool. <sighs> Kane's telling me how I'm going to do a video this week, which I have no idea. But anyways, we didn't get a uh, chance to really work on cars this past weekend. Uh, Kenny had some other stuff he had to do, and I had a lot of personal stuff I had to do. But uh, still trying to do footwork during the week as much as possible. Um, didn't do anything on the right-hand drive tech this week, really. Just kind of looked at it, you know, try to figure out the final game plan for it because it is going back to its owner soon. And then uh, I really want to get back to the all-wheel drive VG. I know that's what you guys want to see. I want to see it too, and I know you guys want to see all-wheel drive projects, so we're going to get to uh, doing those. Um, one thing I did do on the Integra this week, though, one of my junkyard finds that I had um, a few weeks ago when we were there when we found the wiring harness, the uh, little brackets that hold the corner lights in the front bumper and the 98-plus bumper. So uh, it's just cool to find them in the junkyard, I guess, but got... Got a chance to get those installed. Thing came out pretty sick. It's gonna look good on the front end. Give it a little bit of character. Um, also, this week I did get some parts for a special project. If you've been watching my videos, I had mentioned briefly about a uh, import and domestic uh, type build or whatever, mixing the two. Um, I got some parts for that, so I'll show you that real quick. Two JZ to Chevy adapter plate from ATS Speed out in Florida. Got the SFI uh, billet flywheel, SFI approved billet flywheel with the 2JZ to Chevy transmission adapter plate. This is sick. Can't wait for this project to start. Um, important part of it to make this whole process even to begin to do what we need to do on it. So here's the motor. 2JZ 3.0 liter. Um, Unfortunately for me, this pan is uh, has the front oil pan on it. I really need a rear oil pan. If anybody knows anybody out there with a rear oil pan setup that needs a trade out for a front oil pan setup. I know on some cars, I think like 240SX and a couple other cars that people swap 2JZ, 2JZs and they need this front oil pan. And uh, I need the rear oil pan. So uh, if you guys know anybody could really use the uh, rear oil pan. All right, so you've seen the parts for that project. Um, you'll see the actual car here pretty soon. Not sure what I'm going to show you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you after the motor's already hanging in, if you're going to see the process of the motor getting hung in. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but for now, there's the motor, 2JZ adapter plate, the Chevy. Um, sick parts, ATS speed out in Florida. Really nice product. And then uh, Kenny's car. We're going to get started on his all-wheel drive hatchback pretty soon. Uh, we just pulled apart the tranny on that thing. We need to shed. Uh, shed? Shed? Is that what we're, what we're looking for? Shed. Yeah. yeah, we need to send the one to shift selector yeah. out to Speed Factory so they could do whatever they need to do. I'm not too familiar with B-Series all-wheel drive transmissions yet. And uh, actually, this is my first time even opening one up with Kenny. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that a little bit so you see what it looks like on the inside. Here it is all apart. Hanging out. Going to send this shift selector right here. You guys will be seeing Kenny's car, his hatchback, pretty soon all the parts. It's going to be pretty sick. All-wheel drive turbo, EK hatchback. Um, lots of nice parts. Super sick car. But, uh, yeah, sorry there's no work this week, really. You know, just uh, kind of short and sweet, just telling you about some projects and uh, what we have planned coming up. But, uh, like I said, I want to get back to the all-wheel drive project, uh, the EG. And uh, that's priority number one. I need to get back to work on that thing. So I just need to finish a little section on the engine bay, get the mount done where it's going to bolt down to, and then uh, we can move on from that, get the motor in, get the turbo manifold on, and uh, send it off to get the intercooler and charge pipe done on it. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, I always say the same thing. We're getting stuff done over here, but uh, this week we didn't, but we're going to soon. Cars are going to be coming out here finished, and you guys are going to love them. So uh, thanks for having me.